Um, I used to be a very, very successful four-wall handball player, which used to be a very uh, big game. It's no longer a big game. And so my mentor, a gentleman by the name of Jim Jacobs, called me one March 1971, asked me if I would like to come to New York, stay at his apartment, and attend the Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier first fight in Madison Square Garden. It was the first time two heavyweight, undefeated heavyweight champions in the world had ever fought. And so I thought this was going to be a unique opportunity, so I go over there. And Burt Lancaster is going to do the, uh, the color commentating, and Jim Jacobs, my dear friend, is going to be the direction of the closed circuit TV. So we're sitting in Jimmy's office, and Burt Lancaster is in there, and they're watching some old boxing films because uh, Burt Lancaster would like some color material for the show that he's going to be doing. And there's a knock on the door, and Frank Sinatra sticks his head in and asks if he can come and watch too. So of course, they come and watch him. About 15 minutes later, Alan King does the same thing. So now the five of us, Jim Jacobs, Alan King, Burt Lancaster, uh, Frank Sinatra, and me, are sitting there watching boxing movies. They don't know that I'm there. Jimmy says after about an hour, why don't we go downstairs to the stage of the and get some lunch? We say, okay, fine. We get up to leave. Jim gets a phone call. Says he's got to take the phone call. Why don't the four of you go down? Now, I haven't even been introduced. Okay. <laughs> why don't the four of you go down and have lunch, and I'll join you down there. So we do, uh, the, the four of us. Uh, Stuffy, Bert, Frank, and Alan. <laughs> we go down, everybody orders sandwiches. They're talking among themselves. They don't truly notice that I'm there. And I'm 25 at the time. I probably look about 15. I'm sitting over the corner, trying not to be noticed. Some guy comes running up to the table and he's going, he says, I know you, I know you. And he's looking at me. <laughs> he says, Stuffy, my name is Dick Zavis, and you am the physical director of the Akron YMCA. He says, you came through town, you put on a clinic and an exhibition for us about three years ago. If I could get your autograph and go back, you guys in the town. He says, they would absolutely go crazy. There's silence on the other side of the table. At this time, I've probably been asked for my autograph maybe three times. Two of them were my mother. I kind of reach over and sign my name, pretend like I do it all the time, and then try to go back and start eating my sandwich, and there's still dead silence. <laughs> so finally Sinatra looks at the other two and shakes his head, he goes, I guess that's what you get when you're famous, and this guy walked off, left, never saw who the other three people were at the time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>